Thank you for that. My name is Nadia Osman and my sign language interpreter is Ilhan Noor. Now on our top story, the Committee on Fiscal Studies held an Islamic conference at Jamia Mosque, Nairobi on Saturday. The conference aimed at leveraging the Islamic finance and Islamic financial instruments to address rising public debt in Kenya and beyond. Speaking during the event, uh, Leila Latif, the chair Committee on Fiscal Studies, and said Islamic finance, are particularly the institution of Zaka has a transformative potential in combating poverty in Kenya. The conference explored the transformative potential of Islamic finance and its application in modern financial landscapes. Zaka should be uh, put in one basket because when it's in one basket, it will have an impact because many people will come together. But we giving differently on our own ways or on to our own people, it's creating an, uh, a form of dependency. Zakai is supposed to elevate that, the life of that person. For example, if we give out 1,000 shillings to somebody who is in need, you have not solved that problem. That's the first aid you have done to him. In an interview with the Muslim Insight, Leila Latif, the chair committee on fiscal studies, said the conference aims at addressing the pressing issues of raising public debt in Kenya and other regions through the ethical principles of Islamic finance, including risk sharing, sustainable growth and responsible financial practices. This is where we get the chance to now start debating scholarship ideals about what is the role of Islam and Islamic fiscal law as part of zakat, sukuk, and Islamic digital coins, we want to have a discussion about how does Islamic fiscal law contribute to development needs? How does it help build Kenya's capacity to become a leading economic giant with that sort of a understanding, not only from the constitution of Kenya, but also from you know the Muslim texts as well as human rights law. The conference brought together experts, scholars, practitioners, policy makers, and enthusiasts in Islamic finance with the aim of fostering insightful dialogues, engaging presentations, and strategic collaborations that offer concrete solution to the challenge of public debt. And according to the UN uh, statistics, they say that they only need 300 billion US dollars to eradicate poverty and hunger. So imagine if Muslims will pay their zakat of 2.5%, it will be trillions of dollars. So the solution to this is establishing the institution of zakat. You know, we've come to an agreement that, yes, as Muslims, we have a role to play in the society we live in. As Muslims, we have the ability to be able to look at Sharia law and ask, our, ask ourselves, where do we take it in terms of helping our countries, even if it's Kenya or it's any other country in the Africa region, to be able to become fiscally strong. So we've talked about zakat a lot today, sukuk a lot today, and we're trying to establish the way forward. Where do we go forward with leveraging these Islamic financial instruments in Kenya as part of Kenya's eco economic recovery program and to reduce and minimize our reliance on debt and you know to take away the shackles of uh, heavy taxation that are coming our way. Hassan Makoha, a representative from Zakat Kenya, an organization focused on empowering the community through Zakat, said Zakat can be harnessed as a potent instrument for poverty reduction in Kenya if it is well collected. We were giving zakat once a year of 30,000. But alhamdulillah, due to the effort of awareness, we are giving out zakat thrice a year, and the gauge is 125,000 per person. So you can see now it is rising because of the awareness. The event highlighted the acute poverty challenges the country is facing and how zakat can serve as a target solution to alleviate the suffering of the most vulnerable. Because every Muslim society has a community and the community has its own methods of, uh, you know, distributing zakat amongst their community members. Other people distribute zakat to the mosques, others to faith-based organizations. We want us all to come together and put this zakat under one fund. And then we use this fund to now finance those development um, concerns and goals that are of most critical value to the Kenyan society. Zakat is the third pillar of Islam and it is a social responsibility that is considered part of one service to Allah. Zakat equals 2.5% of an individual's total net worth, excluding obligations and family expenses. Reporting for Muslim Insights, my name is Maria Musa.